This checkpoint in Kalandia refugee camp is the only access for most Palestinians to Al-Aqsa Mosque. On the final Friday in the holy month of Ramadan, this area would normally be bustling with tens of thousands of people. This year, only dozens are here and some are being turned back. They want a permit from me. I'm 72 years old. What do I need a permit for? We are coming to our holy site to worship. They don't respect the religion. Muslims believe Laylat al qadr or the night of decree is the holiest night of Ramadan. It's an important time to visit Al-Aqsa, but an eight meter high wall stands in the way. Palestinians are routinely barred from traveling from here in the occupied West Bank to Al-Aqsa Mosque in occupied East Jerusalem. But this year, the Israeli authorities are imposing much tighter restrictions. The only Palestinians allowed in are men over the age of 55 and women over the age of 50. They're tightly packed behind the checkpoint here in Kalandia and they're overlooked by Israeli soldiers. And you can see many of them standing up on the hill above us. On top of age restrictions, Palestinians must apply for a permit and electronic tag via a phone app, but many are struggling. I've tried to come here and apply for the permit with my mobile from the application, but it seems faulty, so I've come to ask people to help me. Since the war on Gaza started in October, there's been an increase in checkpoints and attacks by the Israeli military and settlers, making travel more difficult and dangerous. One legal advisor tells us that Israel considers occupied East Jerusalem its sovereign territory. That is recognized by the United Nations. Since 1967, Israel is violating international and humanitarian law by annexing Jerusalem and preventing Palestinians from reaching it, especially during the holy month of Ramadan and especially young people. So the Israeli checkpoint is just over here, but behind me there are many women who are above the age of 50 who haven't been able to enter through there to reach Al-Aqsa Mosque. So I'm going to speak to uh, one of them. Marhaba, assalamu alaikum. I ask her why she wasn't able to enter. They told me I don't have a permit and I told them I applied but was refused. They checked again and I asked for one on the spot. They told me to go home. Palestinians here say the atmosphere is the most subdued they've seen in 20 years. They blame increasingly aggressive Israeli policies that are entrenching the occupation and separating them from their sacred sites. Laura Khan, Al Jazeera, Kalandia in the occupied West Bank. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.